So input, look at the input. I mean, you don't even have to read it out, but if you see the inputs are what? Uh, input has got, uh, you know, some numbers and words, right? A combination of words and numbers. 984, 885, 193, 257, 883, and some numbers here. Baby, cauliflower, complaint, selection, eat. And then there is a step-by-step -step process and the last step is step 7 here. Okay. Then there is a new input given to us and we have to find out the step-by-step -step process for the given input. Now, you very well know that the first step in the process of machine input output is to look at the last step, right? Because we have to identify the logic behind the output. Once you have got the logic, then it becomes very, very easy. So what could be the logic here? See, the first observation is all the numbers are together and all the words are together, right? Initially, we have placed all the numbers followed by all the words. Now, look at the numbers. Simple, all the numbers have been arranged in ascending order, right? 193, 257, 883, 885, 984. All the words have been arranged in ascending order. Look at the words now. The words are together, but what is the order? C, S, C, E, B. Doesn't look like uh, uh, alphabetical order, right? And of course, neither the reverse alphabetical order. So what is the logic here? Cauliflower, selection, complaint, eat, baby. What could be the logic? Like some of you have got it right. The logic here is very interesting. The words have been arranged based on the number of vowels that we have in each of these words. You're getting it. For example, look at the word cauliflower. They, the words have been arranged, uh, you know, in the descending order of the number of vowels in each of these words. Like for example, if you look at cauliflower, how many vowels do we have here? A, U, I, O, E. By the way, let me you know, just give you a fun fact, maybe most of you are aware of this. Cauliflower is one of those words which has got all the five vowels in it, right? Rare to find such words just for your, you know, awareness. I mean, I hope this will, I'm sure this will not be asked in your exam, but it, it is interesting to me at least, right? So the word which has got all the five vowels in it is cauliflower. Anyway, so the number of vowels here is five, right? A, U, I, O, E, five vowels. So five vowels. Look at selection, how many vowels? One, two, three, four, right? E, E, I, O, four vowels. Look at complaint, one, two, three, three vowels. Look at eat, it has got two vowels. And the word baby has got only one vowel. So what's the logic here? The words have been arranged in such a way that the number of vowels are descending as you move forward, right? The number of words, I mean, number of vowels are descending as you just keep moving forward. So numbers is very easy, ascending order, and the words have been arranged based on the number of vowels in each of these words. So the same thing has to be done for the given input as well, right? But then, now that we have understood the logic, we also have to understand the step-by-step -step process. So what do we do now? Now we'll go to step one and find out what is the logic behind the rearrangement. I mean, what is the step-by-step -step process? So try to compare step one with input. What is the change you find here? I think if you observe the number 193 has been brought to the first position. 193 has been brought here and everything else has been just moved aside, right? 984, 885, then you can see baby, cauliflower, complaint, selection, E, 257, 883. So in one step, we are moving one number. In step one, we are moving the number. And why is 193 brought to the first position? Because that is what is needed. That's what is the desired output. Now look at step two. What has happened in step two? I think in step two, uh, yeah, in step two, we have moved the word baby. See, the baby which was in fourth position earlier has been brought to the last position and everything else is as it is right cauliflower complaint selection eat 257 883 and then baby here so what is happening in the second step we are trying to fix the word we are we are doing it alternatively right in one step we fix a number in the next step we fix the word and why was baby brought to the last position because that is the desired output then what should happen in the third step we'll fix the next number so 193 was already fixed now we'll bring what comes after 193. What should come after 193? 257. So wherever there is 257, bring it to the second position. Everything else remains as it is. Of course, baby is already fixed. In the next step, we will bring the right word uh, before baby. So baby is already fixed. Now we have brought the word eat. Everything else just moved aside. Then in step five, you move one more number. These two are anyway fixed. In step six, you keep the numbers as it is, Br bring one more word. So the word complaint was brought to this position. And then in the next step, I think automatically uh, when you interchange the numbers, the words are already in the correct position, right? Cauliflower and selection are in correct position. So we don't have to continue the process further, right? When you find that something is already in the correct position, just stop it there. So in step seven, what did we do? We have brought the number 885 to this position. 
with which the numbers get arranged and automatically the words also got arranged right? i mean got arranged meaning the words were already in the correct position so we don't have to worry about it so we are doing it alternatively right in one step we move the number numbers are moved towards the right and in next step the words are moved towards the sorry numbers are moved towards the left and words are moved towards the right we are doing it alternatively right we are alternating between words and numbers so i hope all of you have uh, followed this process right the same thing has to be done for the given input as well okay and and based on this five questions would be asked and you can answer the five questions very easily once you have done the whole rearrangement so shall we do that Shall we do that? I think I have copied the step 7 from the previous illustration because you know the logic is important. Of course, the logic is very easy to remember. Words have to numbers have to be in ascending order, words based on the number of holes. So for this input, we have to now get the final output. What should be the output? Let me just write the output first. What should be the output? Numbers have to be in ascending order. So I think we can start with 80, then 177, then we have 319, we have 531 and 769 so numbers are all arranged right 80 177 319 531 and 769 now arrange the words words have to be based on the number of vowels so highest vowels first count the number of vowels 1 2 3 4 4 vowels here arrange has got 1 2 3 vowels fish has got only one vowel information i'm sure we'll have maximum 1 2 3 4 5 vowels and breadth here has got one and two vowels yeah so five four three two one that should be the order so information then we have uh, election after election we should take arrange then we should take the word bread and finally fish so that's the desired output now do the step by step process what should be step one so in step one, what will you do? We'll bring the number first, right? So 80, wherever is 80, bring it to the first position and copy everything as it is. So see, 80 was in the last position. I'll just clear this out so that we don't get confused here, right? So 80 was in the last position, bring it to the first position and copy everything as, as it is. So election, then 531, 769, 177, arrange, 319, fish, info breath and 80 anyways gone back right then what will you do in step two fix the word now so 80 as it is what should be the last word look at the last word we want fish to be the last position so fish comes here just copy everything else as it is so election 531 769 177 arrange 319 info and breath just do this one one important point that you have to remember is while you are doing such kind of rearrangement we are we are following the complete step by step process you can do it using arrows and uh, cancellations also like we have discussed a uh, you know interesting technique right in our machine input output video you can simply do cancellations and draw arrows to represent the positions even that can be done here not very complex but if at all you are following this method the one thing that you'll have to remember is always do it in a proper aligned fashion you see i'm trying to write you know everything exactly in the same position so that if there is something extra that we get, we will come to know that we have repeated something. Or if we get something less, we know that we have missed something. That's the only thing that we have to keep in mind. Otherwise, after doing all the seven, eight steps, if you realize that somewhere you have gone wrong in step number two, you will have to do everything from the scratch. So don't get into that trouble, right? Next, we want number to come after 80, right? What should come after 80? 177. So bring 177 here. Remember, 177 has been copied. So don't copy it again now. Copy everything else. So election... 531, 769, arrangement, 319, info, fish. Then step 4. What, what happens in step 4? We will fix the word. So fish was already fixed. Sorry, I think, uh, are we doing it rightly? In step 1, we brought 80 to the right position. In step 2, we brought fish. Then in step 3, we bought 177. In step 4, we have to bring the word. So what should come before fish? Before fish, okay. Before fish, we want uh, uh, the word bread. It is already in the correct position, right? Before fish, the word bread is already in the correct position. So we will copy it as it is. And now we'll move the next word. What is the next word? 
are able to follow see what happens in step 4 here in step 4 we actually wanted breadth to be there in the last but one position and we have found that it is already in the correct position so what do we do we will keep it as it is bring the next word what is the next word arrange so wherever arrange is there bring it to the right position and copy everything else now so 80 77 elec 531 769 arrange goes there we will bring 319 and info comes here are you able to follow remember in each step one movement has to happen you're getting it one movement has to happen in every step so if something is already fixed just don't skip it i mean go to the next position and fix it okay now there can be different ways of doing it maybe some of you are getting this doubt that should we fix the word or should we bring the next number there that depends that depends on what the examiner wanted to follow but i think you should go with fixing the word then what comes in step 5 number number has to be fixed fix the number 80 177 is already there and then what comes after 177 390 i think you just have to continue this process now right i can stop here right i'm sure the first four steps were important and something very important came up in step four where the word was already in the right position so if you have one is the next word so after 177 we'll get 319 and copy everything as it as it is so election then we have 531 769 Info, arrange. All right. So this is how it comes. I know this is a little time consuming, but again, I'm doing it in detail. I mean, doing it in detail as in, I'm explaining it to you. So it is taking a little longer. I know it is time consuming. I'm not saying that it is very, very easy to do. But the advantage is when you do it in this method, where you have written all the steps properly, answering the questions would be very, very easy. Now, Himanshi has not given us the questions here. It, it depends on the questions, whether you have to follow the full method or you can go by cancellation and simply drawing arrows. Right? Sometimes the questions are like, how many words or, and numbers are there between 177 and info in step number 5. Now, for us to be able to answer such a question, we should have the complete step 5. And you will not be able to have the complete step 5 when you do it using arrows and all that. So now if I look at the question, how many numbers or words are there between 177 and info in step 5? 1, 2, 3, 4 is the answer. It, take, it takes no time to find out the answer in this case. 